I wear Aaron's boxers and a tank top for my pajamas, so I showed up in literally what I wore to bed. <laughs> it was uh, my favorite scene. You were I like, felt like an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Scale of one to ten, one being like you're perfect, ten being like whole, you're like Kristen Doty level of like wow, or my level. Of uh, wow. Right. Your birthday ranks where? This last year, eight. Maybe Mexico nine. ranks where? Nine and a half. <sighs> Who do you think has better style, you or Tanya? God, I don't think about that. I mean, that's me, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no brainer. Is there something freeing about planning a wedding in like 10 days? Yeah, actually less. It was 48 hours, really. When do you want to get married? Do you think you could do this in two days? I'm just starting to get nervous. What time's the ceremony? It's supposed to be two. I definitely feel like the clock is ticking. I'm hot and I'm mad. Where is this bride? When's it happening? Uh, well, we did have an amazing wedding. I know we didn't do it. I would right. have been able to do that myself. I would have been like just in our backyard. But uh, yes, because I think planning a wedding can cause a lot of fights probably with a couple. Yeah. Deciding between which plate and flowers and linens and everything. Yeah. It's right. a pain. So yeah. We were like, whatever happens, happens. We're just gonna I loved it. make it about us and not that stuff. I didn't care what color the plate was. You're gonna see Lisa at Denise's wedding. Perfect. Oh my God, PK. What? This is a whole other layer of betrayal. And Lisa must know the truth is gonna come out. You think this is Lisa? My personal experience with Lisa Vanderpump, she was so lovely. Right. She's very compassionate, and I, you know, we have a lot in common too. And um, I wish that I got to do more with her on the show. Do you have an opinion on the Lucy Lucy apple juice? I, my debacle? opinion is let's move on from yeah. the Lucy Lucy. <laughs> and I'm an animal advocate. I yes. really don't. What the dog saved? That's right. I do think Dorit, and I said this to her. Uh, she should have let her know ahead of time. Fair. You know, Lisa Vanderpump should have done the home check after she found out, before the dog ended up in the shelter. But the dog is safe and, and in a great home, I'm sure. Um, but I think it's time to move on. Yeah. Schwartz has certainly come a long way from having panic attacks while bartending to opening a bar. How proud of him were you? I'm immensely proud of him. I thought it was really sexy and great to see him uh, kind of really step into that role because he's someone that I feel like has like not fully recognized his potential when I see it and everyone around him does but to you know see him like really embrace it and like own it was awesome. Has it helped your marriage? Yeah. Now that it's open yeah. maybe you'll have some more time for me. Did Tequila Katie come out in Mexico? No. You were, you were refined, you were sure. Yeah, okay, so Tom and I got in a fight <laughs> on the way to Mexico. Right. It was something dumb. You know, so I feel about first class. Yeah, it was like a dumb fight. So that, he gets but, first class, he gets upgraded. Yeah. And you're back with, you know, in steerage with the plebes where like, I sit. In literally like, the last row, right? Like, by the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so did you want him to be like, Stassi, take my seat, I'm gonna go sit No, give it to Katie. She wanted it. So you just wanted to switch. Or I wanted him to come sit with me. No, actually I wanted him to sit with me. I like flying with him. I like sitting next to him, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I know, that's what I'm saying. I feel like both of you should be equal, not getting it. It was a, just a dumb thing. <sighs> it's hard to explain. Well, and it was the fact that he hadn't been spending a lot of time with you. So no, I, little... I had not been a priority at right. all. Like, he'd been busy, and so I was like, okay, Mexico, I need to get to like, hang out because now it's gonna be like Tom Tom non-stop still again, so like. That was the whole point of the trip, that they wanted to take a trip with everyone because Tom Tom opened and it was going to be like a while before we could do something like that again. And then he's just like, sitting there. So so I knew the second that he got it, I was yeah. like, oh. When you're And the shit. I too, when you guys are walking by, I was like, this ain't going to end well. And also, also keep in mind, that was like a week away from our anniversary. Mm -mm. Shorts doesn't have a he gift for time. The last four months, I've barely seen you. I see I'm you every like, day. We hang out. And then you don't have time. You. That's a job. I have to work. Stop talking and listen, Tom. All I need you to do is just f***ing listen to me sometimes. Tom, I don't like the sound of your voice. I've talked to a lot of men, and they're like, if, if, if I did that, my wife would have my balls. So, well, listen. Well, how I bad were you? How yeah. bad were your rage tests? Um, I, well, it was only, it only happened until we took off. 
and then I put the phone away. And then Lala was sitting next to me, so she just had to listen to me bitch for like, you know, a few hours. <laughs> so, knowing that you weren't just mad about the seat on the airplane, because it's obviously it had a lot more to do with that, what is the real reason you guys were really fighting? It wasn't just the plane. I wanted him to acknowledge me and my feelings, and, then, and not just say like, oh, you're overreacting. Like, no, like, like my feelings are valid, and they, you should respect them, whether you agree with them or not, and, you know, like, just be considerate. Right. Be considerate, like think about, me, like make me a priority in your thoughts and your feelings, not just like immediately go like, oh, you're you're just overreacting. Like have a little bit of, you know, perspection. Yeah. And respect. You yeah. just want to be heard. Exactly. How was Porsche's gender reveal party? Oh, it was amazing. Really? Yeah, they spent a cute coin. I mean, it wasn't Andy Cohen's baby shower. <laughs> it, was a, a cute, it was an amazing, beautiful baby shower. No one danced on tables or anything no, like that? No. All right. right. Well, we, did, we had fun on the dance floor. We did cute photo booths, and we had a great time. It really was nice. So, Cynthia, she's my friend, and then she has this other friend. <laughs> this person has started a lot of drama in the press. Hey! Oh, I think a monster's here. It's about to be some Cynthia opens up uh, the Bailey room and invites Kenya Moore. Why does Nini get so upset at Cynthia for inviting Kenya? Because she wanted to know that Kenya was uh, invited. You know, like Cynthia's her sister. They talk every freaking day, right. every second. And she's like, how the hell do I have a surprise at my sister's party? It's great, it's great. It's great. It's not every single moment is about you. You need to pull that bitch outside and curse the house. You knew that Kenya was going to be coming. That That's not true. This is a bunch of bullshit that Cynthia's doing. This you, was my you know event, Nene. It was your this event. This was my event. Yeah. I can invite yeah. anybody to my yes, event. Yes, you can. I'm really afraid that our friendship will end forever. I need my friend to be here for me and with me. Do you think Nene overreacted at all, or do you think it was appropriate? You know what? It's not even this old reckless. It's Nini. She just felt she felt betrayed. So right. she just felt like to tell you the truth, just to really sum it up, Nini feels that Cynthia treats her different when Kenya's around. Nini is really sensitive. No matter how tough and big girl and big tough she acts, she feels like, damn, I've been here with you day one. I talked to you about everything. Right. We had spent holidays together. And it's like, hey, how the hell would I know Kenya's coming? Why don't you just communicate that? Exactly. Me? That's how she felt.